morning, guys. Back with another episode. As you can see, I'm at uh, Go Breeze Bait and Tackle right now. Uh, I spent all day yesterday trying to find bait. Then nobody had no bait at all. So I got up early this morning and uh, trying to get some bait so we can uh, get on some fish. Hopefully, they got some live shrimp in there. Uh, if they do, it's going to be a great day. But if they, if it don't, it's still going to be a great day because uh, I got some backup. So, uh Y'all just stay tuned, and if you just not tuning into this channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for me, man. Let's keep running it up, running it up, running it up. Like I say, I got more and more videos for y'all, man. Just gonna keep on coming, big action. So we gonna try to get on some uh, fish today. I got uh, my buddy coming with me, uh, Marcel. He got a fishing channel also. So uh, when he get in, get here, we gonna plug his channel in, and y'all make sure y'all go like and subscribe on his channel also. He just not getting it started. But uh, with all that being said, uh, stay tuned, man. We're going to get back with y'all. All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see right now, I got some fish gone. No, this is not fish gone. This is fish bites. Fish bites. And I'm out here at my little spot, you know, trying to get on some pompano, some white in the two. But uh, right now, you know, I already know I'm using uh, the pompano rig, two hooks. You see, this one right here is clam flavor, and the other one is shrimp flavor. And I got it tipped with a piece of shrimp. So we're gonna try to uh, get out there. Hopefully, this is a good spot, and uh, we're gonna try to get on some pompano too. So uh, yeah, y'all just stay tuned, man. Salt like Jay, we trying to get it. Got Fred over here, right there, waiting on something. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning so far. So I'm gonna try to get up off in there. So uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all check out Marcel's new channel. Y'all go to the new channel on YouTube, Snatch em Fishing. You know what I'm saying? That's it right there. New channel? New channel. I only got one subscriber right now. I think that's goddamn J ass. So y'all, uh, yeah, y'all go subscribe, man. I got have new videos on there for you. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get, get set up and we're gonna get up out here. Hopefully we'll have something for y'all today. All right, peace. Got one on. Might be a nice whiter. But it's not coming up. Open up. Whiter. Nice Nice whiter. Oh, right. Nice whiter. First catch for the day. Oh. Lean, get, get the drop near, get the drop near. I got the drop near right here. Oh, I got you, Mark. Oh, that's a monster. That's a big one. Tag. 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 Monster man get a monster man. I know I will get if any fish out there, the doctor gonna find it. Hey Jack, anytime a fish around, I'ma find a fish. I don't care where he is, I don't care where a, I have to walk, I'ma find a fish. So I get sit down now. Yeah, just tell the doctor doing it. Doctor be operating. The doctor. Yeah. I should have done it. Get him up. Come on, buddy. Yeah, so that's a good one. Fuck 
ja. Nice man. Appreciate it. <laughs> My last one. And I'm pumping up. Hmm. <laughs> Get the TV. Get there, big man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Rob on the sheep head. operating when you get back just tell them that you go to buck.com you can see anything you want to learn about me <laughs> anyway i have the tape i give less than 29.95 any time of the week 29.95 30 dollars yeah Keep out the tax <laughs> well, he also gives tell them what you do <laughs> robert is a net man it teaches how to get a fish all right That's Buck right there talking, guy. Master Sheephead, Dr. Sheephead. Mr. Too Easy.
after I filleted it. Nice white fillet. Check them out. Nice white fillet, baby. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. For the beginning in the kitchen with it. All right, I got this pan over here getting hot. As y'all can see, I'm gonna get a little butter. Throw some butter in there. Come back over here, and I'm only gonna use one seasoning for this pompano. You don't want to do too much with this pompano. It already got flavor, you know what I'm saying, itself. So you don't want to do too much on that pompano. You ain't got to put too much seasoning in there like that, just a dash. You know what I'm saying? Flip it over. Get a little seasoning. Just a little bit. Not too much. Even though you probably ain't even going to eat that side, but just for flavor. Just in case you do. It is good. Pumping those skin is good. So, yeah. So, we're going to let this pan right here heat up. Alright, got this pan over here hot. And we're going to go skin side down first. Skin side down. Turn this around. This way. Skin side down. I'm gonna let that cook at least halfway, and then we'll flip it over and let it cook on the rest on that side. All right, guys, that's about a, a good look. Two minutes, so we're gonna flip it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get up front of that. Come here. I don't want to break it. Yes, sir. Let's see this one. Oh, I wish I could smell this right now. I ain't even gonna lie. And we'll let it cook on the rest on that side. Only reason why we let it cook on two minutes and a good little hot heat so we can get that crisp on that skin. Y'all see that crisp on that skin? 
Yes, sir. So you can eat the skin on pumpkin oil. Good. But so yeah, after this, we're going to let it cook, and then we're going to put it on the plate and plate it up for y'all. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. Look like this is done. Let's see. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, guys, as you can see right there, I got some uh, Uncle Ben's Spanish rice. And we're gonna look, put a little bit of top on here. Let that sit back right there. Then, we got this honey. This is actually local honey. Get it in the light so they can see. This is actually local honey that I picked up. So, yeah, I'm going to try it out. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put this, drizzle this over the fish. Just like that. And I taste uh, honey with fish one time, and it was awesome. So we're going to drizzle that right there with that. You can put it much as how you want to, but yeah, you're going to drizzle that. Then we're going to come over here and take this pito de gallo with mangoes, onions, uh, cilantro, salt, lemon juice, and some chopped up mangroves, as y'all can see. Same thing. Take this. Put over the fish. Yeah. Pito de gallo with mangoes, though. So, that's the finished product. What y'all think? Drop them comments. Let me know. All right, guys. Y'all see I cooked it up. Y'all seen I cleaned it and everything for y'all and see what's going on. So, y'all see this delicious plate right here going on with this good, good tomatoes and onions and cilantro, little rice, honey on a fish so uh like i say i tried it before so we're gonna see how it tastes man i had never tried it on pompano so this is my first time trying it on pompano so we're gonna see how does it taste but first we're gonna get a little bite of pompano see how the pompano tastes first just by itself y'all see that nice Mm. Mm. It's really hard to judge because the pumpano just by itself is good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's hard. But you still can taste that sweetness, you know what I'm saying? And the little saltiness as you put the seasoning on there. So it's hitting if you ask me, man. But uh, let's try it with a little pito de gallo tomatoes. And um little onion. And uh, mango with a little of this rice. Nice little bite. See how that tastes. Mmm. 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 That's real good, too. Only because you got that rice with the Mexican and the Mexican like style pito de gallo. And the mangoes and stuff going on with the fish, sweetness, savory, man, it's so good. Man, I, I challenge y'all to try this uh fish with honey if you ain't never tried it. You know what I'm saying? Some, I mean, you can cook it with the honey, but I, I thought the honey was gonna burn up, so I use it at the end. But man, until next time, man, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all subscribing. I appreciate y'all tuning in on this channel, man, and just showing me love and good feedback so it making me go hard and do more videos for y'all so like i say i got more action coming from y'all and y'all always always man ask me what uh what spots i'm at and you know what i'm saying what rigs i use so uh i'm gonna i might start doing some uh little tutorials about how i tie up my rigs and stuff like that but other than that man 
Y'all stay positive, man. Stay motivated, man. And uh, just stay out of trouble, man. And just keep doing what you're doing. And like I always say, man, never let nobody tell you that you can't do it, man. So until next time, man, Salt Like Jay is out. Oh, <laughs>